Not all who wander are lost. Some are looking for a disc. I got this shirt for disc golfing. It's a Sasquatch with a disc golf basket. I thought it was appropriate because I like Sasquatches. How's that look? Spectacular. All right. Let's do a beer of the weekend. And I'm going to give you a tour of our disc golf course, which is six baskets, but you play through, you play through and then you come back again. So it's a total, I know 6 plus 6 you would think would be 12 or whatever, but it's a total of 10 baskets. We've got a 10, 10 hole course with six baskets total. Here, let me show you the course. And we'll show you our disc golf collection thus far. This is between um, Stephanie has one disc, Brianna has a disc, Willow has a disc, Xander has a bunch of discs, and I have a bunch of discs. Um, Corbin hasn't had any discs yet because he doesn't really play. So, uh,. So what is today? Today is Saturday of October the 14th. Yesterday was Friday the 13th in October. Spooky, spooky. I was going to try to do all this then, but uh, I ran out of time. So we're here Saturday, Saturday the 14th, which today was uh, solar eclipse, which is going on right now. So... Uh, where we're at, it's the, uh, so, it's the special one, the ring of fire one, but where we're at in Mississippi, we don't have the whole ring of fire, so, it's still pretty cool, uh, solar eclipse. So, what do we have here? Enough rambling.
okay this is by tailgate brewery peanut butter milk stout i don't think i've had anything from tailgate brewery which is out of i believe nashville nashville tennessee charlotte pike nashville tennessee okay let me read a little bit from their website peanut butter milk stout a Nashville staple and one of Music City's most heavily awarded beers. PBMS is a medium bodied stout with notes of chocolate and coffee and loads of peanut butter. 5.2 ABV. So, this is right up my alley. I like stouts. Stouts are probably my favorite. But you don't see a whole lot of stouts because everybody loves IPAs. So I have high expectations for this, peanut butter, milk stout. I want to taste peanut butter in this. I did not bring a can, uh, cup, but I'm pretty sure this is probably gonna be a pretty dark brew. So yes, it is dark. When you open it, it looks like a, a Coke or a coffee. Let's give it a little smell test. Hmm, that is interesting. I'm trying to smell if I smell peanut butter. I'm sure it does kind of slightly. But, that being said, we were talking about chewing tobacco dip uh, at work the other day I don't dip or chew tobacco I have a long long time ago just tried it yeah it was give or take it wasn't my kind of forte but that being said maybe it was just because of that conversation this makes me more think of what is it called Levi Garrett chewing tobacco I think that's right Levi Garrett this almost smells more like chewing tobacco but in a good way I know some of you think chewing tobacco that does not smell very good but it, I, it's kind of got a that's what it kind of reminds me of more than the peanut butter for say anyhow enough of that let's get on with it let's go for the taste not really peanut buttery smelling. Okay. That is pretty interesting. Hmm. Okay. What are my thoughts? Initial impressions. This is not screaming peanut butter to me. I don't know where they're getting their peanut butter. It's not really screaming peanut butter when the notes said coffee and chocolate. I'm still feeling tobacco-y. This almost gives me a tobacco-y taste. 
Not like a cigarette. Tobacco-y. Like I said, kind of like a chewing tobacco. It tastes... I'm going to say it tastes alright. It doesn't taste terrible. But it's still... I don't know, it still feels misleading to me with the peanut butter. When you see peanut butter milk stout, I'm thinking peanut butter. I don't know if my taste buds are just off or what. But it almost smells, if you took a pack of Levi Garrett and smelled it, not right, right close up, but kind of far off smelled some Levi Garrett, that's kind of the same taste I'm getting. That being said, for you non-tobacco chewers, it's probably going to sound terrible. But that's what it, it's given me the vibes of. This is almost like Levi Garrett mellowed down in a can. So, that's what I'm that's what I'm feeling. Levi Garrett in a can. I think I've only I've only tried Levi Garrett like once, you know. It was whatever it was if you're a tobacco chewer. Which like I said, I only tried it a few times. I didn't inhale. Okay? So that's what this reminds me of. Score. I'm gonna give this man. This is about like the last beer. It's gonna get a six or a seven. Had I just opened this beer and tasted it without seeing any label, it might have got an 8. It might have got a little bit higher. But, since I feel misled peanut butter, I'm giving it a lower rating because I had high expectations of peanut butter. And some of you have probably had this and are probably like, that tastes just like peanut butter, bro. But it doesn't. Not to me. Not today. I'm not sure where you're getting your peanut butter from. Six or seven for peanut butter milk stout. From Tailgate Brewing. Hope you enjoyed your Friday the 13th if you're into that spooky kind of stuff. We got Scary Gary over here by our one of our baskets over here. Um, I've had Scary Gary for a while at different locations here in the woods. Um, but he got moved over here. He's called Scary Gary because when I moved him over here, Xander and I were playing disc golf. Xander did not know I put him over here. And he come down here and looked at him and saw him. And he might have been just a brief second of kind of, uh, we'll call it shock or whatever. But other than that, he was fine. I said... I said, does it look scary? And he said, that's Gary? I said, well, there you go. I guess so. I said scary, but you thought I said Gary. So now it's Scary Gary. So Scary Gary is one of our attractions at our disc golf. Um, I think we're done with the disc golf course for now. I like it where it's at. Ten holes. Um... For the little ones, you know, five, six years old, I've taken uh, Xander to some, like an 18-hole course, and there was no way he was going to make it through 18 holes. He he was lucky to do six at the course and wanted to go play on the playground. So as far as attention span goes, this 10-hole is good. Um, we may update later, but I'd have to do a lot of, a lot of thinking and probably some brush clearing. I already lose these things like crazy in our kudzu pile, so lost many of them. We've got a whole bunch of discs. I've got a whole bunch of discs, and they're all terrible, terrible disc. because I am a professional, and there is nothing wrong with me, so these have all got to be terrible because I throw them in the brush, in the thorns, where you can't get to them, not at the basket, so obviously... Clearly, 
the disc, all the disc, every disc we've gotten has been bad. But that's it. Beer of the Weekend Disc Golf Course. Thanks for watching. Peanut butter milk stout did not remind me of peanut butter. Reminded me of Levi Garrett chewing tobacco.